Hi, good afternoon class. Today we're going to learn new topic, political system in Malaysia. Our government adopts three different types of systems. The first one is known as constitutional monarchy, parliamentary democracy, federation, or some might call it federalism. Okay, let's look one by one what is constitutional monarchy, parliamentary democracy, and federation. The term constitutional monarchy is obviously come from two words, monarchy and constitution. In order for a government to be known as a constitutional monarchy, it must have monarch or king. So we have king in Malaysia, right? And this is the unique future of Malaysia. We have nine kings in Malaysia and the only country in the world has more than one king. Other country, either they have one king or they don't have king at all. In fact, we have nine monarchs in Malaysia and one of them will serve as Yang Dipertuan Agung and they will rotate every five years. In Malaysia, even though we have king, but this king, the power of this king is not absolute. He is not the source of law. Yet, king in Malaysia is bounded by the law as revealed or outlined in the constitution. So, constitutional monarchy means the country has a king, has a monarch, yet this monarch is not absolute in terms of power. Rather, his power is bounded defined, determined by the constitution. The position of the constitution is higher compared to the monarch. This system we call constitutional monarchy. Parliamentary democracy comes from two words, democracy and parliament. Democracy is normally represented by the election. It's impossible for a country to be democratic if there is no election. Because in a democratic system, people got a chance to elect for their own leaders. So in democracy system, we have people as the source of power. People of voters as the source of power. And these people elect or vote for their representative. And later, their representative will sit in the parliament and they are later known as members of parliament. And some of the MPs together with the senators will form a cabinet. Parliamentary democracy from this illustration means a system where people and voters elect, choose their members of parliament who later some of them become the cabinet members. So here the parliament, the members of parliament, they are responsible and accountable towards the people and later they are also responsible and accountable towards the cabinet members. Federation is a system of government where the constitution clearly divides the power between federal government and state government. The constitution clearly specified what are the jurisdiction that falls under the federal government and what are the jurisdiction that fall under the state government. Our federal government is responsible on internal security, foreign affairs, what else, economics, and so on. So these are the jurisdiction under the federal government which other layer of government such as state government cannot interfere. While the state government is responsible in some other areas such as Islamic law, Malay culture, and so on. However, there are certain areas okay, that federal government and state government can cooperate together. This area we call concurrent, concurrent list or common list, such as scholarship, education. So when it comes to scholarship, Federal government can offer scholarship or educational loan to students. The federal government can establish, can build schools, can national schools, uh, national university. And on the other hand, okay, state government also can also establish their own school and university. Okay, such as uh, UNICEL is a Selangor State University. Okay, it's not belong to the federal government. So in this area, both of them can cooperate.
In sum, there are three political system practice in Malaysia. The first one is constitutional monarchy, where the monarch, we have the monarch who is ruling the country, but his power is determined by the federal constitution. Second, we have parliamentary democracy, where the people elect their own representative to the parliament, and this leader, the members of parliament, become part of the cabinet. And the last one, we have the federation, which is the system that distributes, divides the power between federal government and state government. That's it.